Dear students, today we will be learning about solid wastes. The definition of the solid waste, the types of solid wastes, how do we deal with this uh, problem uh, of solid wastes? We will also do a case study and that will be followed by agrochemicals, again a case study and finally the radioactive wastes. We would like to also learn, learn about the bioremediation and uh, bio indicators to enhance the student's perspective. So let's see what is solid waste. Solid waste is everything that goes out as trash. Ante manu intak mundu air pollution, water pollution, vati vi chadukunam. Ante prasitam. Solid waste and ENT, Dani Manam Yella define Chayali, Yella deal Chayali. So, everything that goes out as trash is a solid waste. Mari put solid waste source ENT, Yelanti Vati Manam solid waste ani anachu. So, let's see what are the different types of things which can be called as the solid waste glass, plastic. Metals, the food wastes, leather, textile, rubber, cans, etc. So, when you see all these examples which are taken under the solid waste, Manaki, any examples low, okay, Gamanin Chali. Some of them are biodegradable and some of them are non biodegradable. For Udhar Naki, glass this kunam. This is definitely non bio degradable material. Food waste and kundi, the organic, it can be bio degradable. And even it ni kudamanam solid waste na parigan in chali. Let's see the sources for all this home, offices, theatres, hotels, hospitals, etc. All these are the channels or the sources for the solid waste. So, the let us re-understand the idea of solid waste. Everything that goes out as trash is a solid waste and solid waste will include all these and the sources for the solid wastes. So, to enhance our uh, understanding, let us see a few pictures of what is solid waste. Dear students, we were wanting to see some pictures. You can see very clearly how negligently uh, we are dropping all the solid waste into the water body and see how the it is totally blocked. Let, let me see one more picture concerning this. See how the on, on the land that was water and now on the land you can see all the trash thrown scattered all over uh, naturally leading to heavy pollution of the soil. We have seen a couple of uh, pictures which were depicting how the solid wastes have been scattered into the water body clogging the water body and also carelessly responsibly thrown on the land. Actually what we need to do with this solid waste? Solid wastes are subjected to burning mainly for the simple reason that it reduces the volume of the trash. Now where do we carry this solid waste? How do you divide the solid waste is our next step to learn about the solid waste. Solid wastes are put into the open dumps or it could be the sanitary landfills or the controlled dumps. We are focusing on the open dumps and also the sanitary landfill. In that open dumps probably we see this uh, material being burnt. As I was telling you, when you burn the solid waste, the volume of the total material will reduce. That's, an, that's a good idea, but what about the fumes, what about the uh, pollution, what about the air pollution, what about the toxic gases which are released into the atmosphere? That creates an imbalance in the nature, so that has to be taken care of. So, the, that is the open dump and the other one is the, the sanitary land fill and the third one is the control dumps. So, open dumps, 
sanitary landfill and the last one is the control dumps. Let us study about the sanitary landfill. What do you do in a sanitary landfill? In a sanitary landfill, we dug out an area and uh, compress the solid waste which we call it as compaction. So, we dug out area and uh, compress the solid waste and we call it as compaction and that entire material is dumped into that particular dug out area. Of course, it has its, its own uh, negative uh, effects. The sanitary landfill which is containing all this material like uh, sometimes paints also or the fertilizer residue, the pesticide residue if present, these components slowly percolate, leach through the soil and ultimately can become component of the groundwater. So, naturally the quality of the groundwater is altered, the pH value is altered and that will harm the organisms which are present in the water and that leads to a heavy water pollution, groundwater pollution. So, sanitary landfill. In the next uh, in the coming minutes, we will be seeing the picture of the sanitary landfill too. So, the solid waste is generally subjected to burning to reduce the volume and they are uh, put into the open dumps or into the sanitary landfill or into the control dumps. Open dumps is a huge area where vast area where you scatter or throw the material just like what we have seen in the picture. The sanitary landfill, the second one as I was telling you where the solid uh, material is subjected to compaction and put into a dugout area and probably covered by the soil. This will have its own effects. There could be percolation of the material, leaching of the material. Ante solid waste kurinch manam open dumps, sanitary landfill, control dumps. Open dump ante dump Open dump plastic glass cans open area Of course, it may be not uh, near the household. Duranga city kuncho town ki kuncho duranga padedam correct hai. Kani recycle so, that is open dump lo manam dani leave chestam solid waste. Rendo di sanitary landfill and ikada manam boomin kuncham toval suntundi. Matam material ni press chesi la taku volume chesi than manam compaction anam in takbundu. Dani as soil lo petesi kuncham sand esi ali. That is sanitary landfill. But din kuna 20 uh, negative effect in one kuna. Dan Dora, even a chemicals gani, like pote, fertilizer residue gani, milliga, a soil layers in Chikindikeli that can become part and parcel of the ground water, polluting the ground water. Mari, in the methods manakunai, why do not we divide the solid waste into three different categories? And then divide chesi, deni varkogalam, deni varkolemu. Then recycle chegalam, then but divide just one kundi. It is very easy to deal with the solid waste. Ante, if you have aspect in Tante Manam, this coach in a solid waste collected from the home, offices, hotels, Avani Ekada Paristam. Ante, we throw it in the open dump or the sanitary landfill. Paristam. Mari, the Antakana Mundu, how do you deal with it? Padese Mundu, then clear gather, divide chess around kundi, inka clear gather ni manam, ekuga. We can divide them. For example, if you look at this classification of the uh, solid waste, biodegradable, non-biodegradable and finally the recyclable. Ila manam vivajin cha man kondi. And unna material manam la divide chesa man kondi. Dhani manam jagartha ka deal jayach kada. For example, uh, unna solid waste lo, open dump lo padesh thara, like pote sanitary landfill lo dhani waste thara, avishan kaadi kada. Manam Pade by twenty than Munde Vibajin Chaman Kondi, Everni Manam dispose Chayachu, Everni Malivar Kochu, and a Visham the Manam focus Chestanamo. Biodegradable, and a uh, for example, the vegetable material, the organic material, Edit Undan Kondi, Adamana soil, a Vesimano, the microbes Kodlesaman Kondi, decompose Ipotundi. Naturally, we will get a 
wonderful fertilizer which can be used for the plants growth. Mari non biodegradable for example plastic undi, glass undi. Dan manam dininchi vedadesham ankondi automatic emu thundi iri panikiradu dan manam odile ali. But din reuse says coach kada. But renditni kalpadam mula ne emu thundi anni okate place lo unto nai. And we are not able to you know segregate correctly, not able to you know reuse them correctly. But it is solid waste ni thaggin chalante. Munduga a solid waste ni biodegradable, non-biodegradable, like what are the recyclable. A category in badi dhani veda diyal manam. For example, rag pickers. They certainly do a very ex extremely good uh, job by you know segregating, by separating the solid waste into the non-biodegradable, biodegradable or the recyclable. And the mood with manam solid waste ni separate chest. Then deal jadam chala sulabha mahutundi. But here we are going to be recyclable. If we are recyclable, we are going to be able to recycle the material in the past material. So, we are going to be able to recycle the material in the past. So, that is about the division of the solid waste. So, let's recall the idea of the solid waste here. We are going to be able to recycle the solid waste in the open dump, like in the sanitary landfill, we are going to be able to recycle the solid waste. अंत करना मुंड मनाऊं दानी मूड विदाल का विभाजन चावन कोण्डी दानी सॉलिड वेस्ट नी इलादी इंजियालो मन की इनका सुलभ होता हूँ दी एंड दैट इज़ बायोडिग्रेडेबल नॉन बायोडिग्रेडेबल एंड रीसाइक्लेबल मना पर्यावरण कापर लंटे व्हाट इज़ द बेस्ट वे टू यू नो प्रोटेक्ट आवर एनवायरनमेंट अ let us need to reduce the garbage. Manam, ipadu vartu nadvandi polyesterine poly bags certainly will cause environmental pollution. Mari, manam vegetables kon kolana, flowers like pati food items, milk packs, water, anything these days will be in that the plastic or the poly bags. This will, it is not bio, non biodegradable substances ni manam vartu nam, tarchu vartu namu. Then we manam emi chelem because it is totally a non-biodegradable substance and that leads to environmental pollution. So, what is the best way to avoid this? And a eco-friendly packaging. So naturally, the government body is aiming at propagating this wonderful idea to all. The idea is to have eco-friendly packaging, wherein we use natural fiber carry bags which are made up of natural fiber. So, we were dealing with a, at a very tiny micro topic called the solid waste and uh, in the solid waste topic we have uh, understood what is the, uh, the that word called trash and finally how do you uh, where do you dump the solid waste, how do you divide the solid waste and finally how, how this can contaminate the groundwater and uh, how do you reduce the garbage and finally, the best solution for reducing the solid waste is to use the eco-friendly carry bags which are nature friendly, recyclable and reusable and washable and of course healthy. After learning about the solid waste, let us now continue our journey in learning about the solid waste further. What about the hospital wastes? What does this hospital waste generally contain? So fundamentally speaking, it will contain uh, these disinfectants, naturally syringes and cotton, the bottles, etc. So all these uh, different uh, components will form the hospital waste. Apart from that, let us also learn that the sewage from the hospital is also one of the principal sources for the water pollution. So let's talk this aspect first, then about that aspect. See, in the hospital, naturally there will be sewage and that will contain harmful, disease-causing microorganisms and also the harmful chemicals. Apart from this, it will contain the human feces. When all these uh, components, the mixture of different things, is added into water, it leads to 
water pollution. So, we are adding feces, we are adding the microorganisms, the pathogens, the different chemicals into the water body. So, naturally that water body which is you know enriched with the organic matter will show an alteration in the BOD and the COD levels. The BOD will be greater than the COD, the oxygen depletion will begin and the aquatic organisms are deprived of oxygen and their survival will be difficult. And what about the water contamination, the highly definitely contaminated water. So, by chance when this contaminated water is consumed that leads to diseases. And what could uh, be the various uh, microorganisms which are prevalent in this water? The E. coli, 